Other than scaffolding the code, so we're actually using readers to help the children quickly recognise the sound pics they've been learning without their brains having to worry about lots of other parts of the code that they don't yet know and they certainly don't know easily, recognise easily. What we also do are a range of strategies. In pairs, they'll do speedy decoding. One person points and they're the ones that say the word and the other person does the coding for them. We also do something called tag reading, the twin reading. There are all sorts of different strategies that we use. And because children can read at their code level, they'll read with fluency and we can also develop expression. We can help them to speak at read aloud with expression and understanding because their brains aren't having to keep stopping to work out the code. They understand that code. They can read that code. And you'll see Amy doing that. She's reading a dandelion reader that's at SSP purple level and she's reading it with expression because she can code it. We use strategies that no other program in the world is currently using and it's part of the reason why we're getting such great results because it's based on how the brain works, how the brain quickly understands the information needed for coding so that it can, it can get to the stage of fluency and comprehension more easily. These are some children that have only just started using the approach. You'll see them working in pairs. You'll see some children just reading and I want you to see that it doesn't matter we're using coded readers. Of course, of course we're checking for comprehension. And we don't need a question there at the back of the book to tell us what to ask. We just ask the questions as we're listening to the child reading. Just natural questions about what they're reading, what it means, as for their thoughts, we want literal, lateral thinking. What you'll also see is a child who is reading an Avengers book, and that's a potluck book. So that's a book that he's chosen because we're giving a few minutes for potluck. So there's always the potluck bucket. There's the green, purple, yellow, and blue code level readers. Once they move from blue code level readers, they can read anything they want. By then, they're on chapter books or whatever books they want to read. More importantly, they are readers who choose to read for pleasure. Within SSP, it's authentic teaching. It's actually kind of like going back to how it used to be. And I don't mean because we're teaching phonics. SSP isn't a phonics program. We teach coding, but it's very different to any other phonics program you'll see, very different to any other program about teaching, reading, and spelling that you'll come across. What we're doing is we're not bothered about reading levels or PM levels. What we're bothered about is getting children to be readers. Because if they choose to read, they read more. And the more they read, the more they learn. You don't have to do so much guided reading and whatever, because the children are reading. They are developing skills that are very difficult to teach if you're just focusing on teaching reading at school, and especially if they are bored with what you're giving them to read. And that's what happens when you're doing reading levels. The children just don't choose to read at home. And that's what we need to change. What else? Well. Milk. Milk. In. In. A. A. Cut up. Cut. We must get a one. I. I. What ill will. For it. Fit. It. It. For all. Oh, well, it's a kind of book to read now. Yeah, but this just has. Yes. yes. <laughs> it's only got one word in it. Oh, so you've got to make up the story. I like it. When Meg was a pup. When Meg the dog was a pup, a bad man left Meg on the path. 
Where am I? Where is mom? Meg was sad and upset. Which path? Where shall I run? Shall I run on that path? Meg ran onto the plank. Meg fell into the pond and got Yeah, you go try to bottom. Go see if the T. H is on for two. Do you want me to read that last Keep, sentence yes, again? Meg fell into the pond and got wet. Meg swam, swam to the bank. Just then, Dad went past. Is it on there already? Meg ran to him. What I what a wet pup, said Dan. I think this pup is lost, said Dan. I can help you. That did he, not he was 12 years he old. Still. He had made a deal with his ma mother, Claire. They would go to the go-karts track. Sean, Sean got up at 7 o'clock and had baked beans on toast. Claire drove him to see the go-karts. When they got near there, they could hear the roar of the engines. What does that mean, the roar of the engines? Um, <laughs> yes, like a really loud roar. Yeah, they could hear the roar of the engines. Oh, what are you reading? Avengers! Dun, 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 dun. The Avengers. Next. Yep. These are the Avengers. <gasps> Avengers. These are the Avengers. The Avengers are a team of superheroes. Six superheroes are Avengers. Each has power. Each has a power. Captain America is strong. He has a shield. His shield cannot break. He throws his shield to stop bad guys. <laughs>